Welcome back guys. So this is part two of installing the 72 inch KFI poly plow. Uh, this is the first time I used it. And uh, a couple things to go over. The plow itself functions great. Um, one thing I'm gonna have to do though is uh, this winch cable. Yeah, I keep, uh, I thought maybe the first time it happened it was operator air. But uh, what happens is every time this thing gets a load on it, this cable, just from maintaining the weight of the plow, even though it's a 4,500 pound winch, it actually snaps this cable. So I'll show you over here what that looks like. So this was the first time it broke. It actually broke back here. And then uh, since then, I've just been tying a knot on the hook and I broke it one, two, three, four times, four times. So I, what I'm gonna do is buy a winch strap and I'm going to take off all this synthetic rope and I'm gonna wind up a, uh, like a winch strap and it's gonna have its own hook on it. Because what happens is I gotta end up tying these knots since I broke that OEM lead that connects onto this loop here. But uh, like I said, as far as everything plow wise goes, it goes great. But uh, one more little modification and I think we'll be set on this. So while in the process of editing, uh, there's a few things I did want to mention that uh, I either deleted or failed to mention. Um, one thing I did add and I did experiment with this is uh, I added this piece of 12 inch long by 5 8 with washers and uh, nylon uh, nuts on both sides. And I put a piece of conduit over it. And I did try to, at one point, put this cable underneath thinking that would help. Um, I think what I'm gonna do moving forward is actually weld more to this and put some kind of roller up here. Uh, to the issue with the winch cable, there's a lot of tension right here. See how it starts to flat, flatten this synthetic rope out? And uh, I've seen in the comments and talking to people, a lot of guys are like, well, I'll just put the, uh, the uh, wire, uh, actual metal cable on here. But uh, the way this thing rides on this aluminum piece, it would just like dig its own channel in here. So that's why uh, I mentioned the plow strap. But I think what I wanna do is get this coming out straight, find this height, and then mount a pulley here. So this thing will basically come out straight and, and pick directly up. Um, currently, I'll show you how this raises and lowers. So, going up. So here you can see how this is like buried on this. So I can't even get my hand in here. And then uh, the tilt, this is how you pull off your tilt uh, with this lever here. So right there is with the plow straight. I'm gonna go ahead and lower this you can see that it actually, uh, you don't have much control of it while lowering. So back to the pulley idea, I feel like that'll help uh, smooth out the tension on this. Um, and one major component that I did forget to mention, even in part one and here, is, uh, KFI actually sells for $180 their version of their bumper with their winch mount. And it does correct all this, but again, back to having the X3 RC, it comes from the factory with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my camera up on the tripod 
I'm gonna pull my plow off and show you how I welded it to convert this. Okay, so now that the plow is actually lowered and you can see the mount, uh, this mount actually comes from KFI. The only portion that I welded is not actually to the machine, it's actually to the mount. And I used a factory existing hole and just spanned that distance with washers. And then I drilled one hole into the actual OEM bumper here. And with that, um, it gives you two mounting points and that's how the original KFI would have mounted. Um, everything's a little rough to touch and kind of show. I ended up spraying everything with fluid film uh, just to prevent any kind of corrosion. But uh, I'll go ahead and include these specs to make those brackets if that's something you guys were wanting to make. Um, I ended up cutting those out of 516 steel. Um, everything that is constructed on this plow is a quarter inch. So I went just a little bit thicker to ensure we had a good uh, brace point here. But that's it guys um, I hope this helps and uh, coming up next you can actually see how the plow uh, functions and everything all right um, right now we have Roughly, I think before I started, we had about a foot. We probably have about 13, a little bit over that. But uh, as of now, we got everything plowed. I'm gonna make one more adjustment for the gravel, because uh, again, I still have a gravel driveway. But, uh, but that's it. Um, if you guys are looking for something similar on your X3, I do recommend it, but it's a lot of back and forth, trial and error to make it work. But, uh, I'm able to push the snow very far up the banks without any issues. Like I said, the only issue I'm competing with now is just that strap. So once I get that swapped out, I'll be good to go. Hope this helps anyone that's trying to put a plow on their X3. Um, if I end up finding a winch strap that works, I'll go ahead and make a video on how to actually uh, remove your old winch strap and then drum on the actual new new cable that I'm going to end up going with. All right, guys. Peace.